Hi again, everyone. CBS 19 Chief Meteorologist Brett Anthony here on this, uh, we'll call it a murky Thursday evening. We've got a mix of anything in the pink area here. Could be sleet and freezing rain, freezing drizzle, plain old rain out to the east from about Longview to Carthage Center to Nacogdoches down to Lufkin. But anywhere where you see this precipitation falling overnight, the temperature could drop below freezing and because of that we could find some icy roadways by tomorrow morning. So we are just getting into the cold air. The cold air extends all the way up to Billings, Montana, where it's 14 below. We have several days for this to play through here. So tonight, gray, cold, patchy, freezing drizzle possible. The temperature and the weather condition I show you is the coldest temperature we'll see overnight, right around 29 at 8 a.m. once the sun rises. And then the temperature profile for tomorrow stays below freezing up until about noon. That's why the winter weather advisory is in effect for Smith County and Tyler through noon tomorrow. All right, surface map forecast here. Look what it tries to do. It tries to clear us out later tonight. I just don't think that's going to happen. We're going to stay gray and overcast. But Friday, Saturday into Sunday morning, Friday and Saturday, little patches of freezing drizzle, maybe a sleet pellet here or there. Sunday morning, this is round one of our next winter storm that we are anticipating. This will go by with sleet and snow. That's the bigger part of the system out over West Texas, and that's eventually going to swing into East Texas, and that won't happen until Monday morning. You'll notice at noon it is still out by Lubbock. So two rounds of sleet and snow, one early Sunday, one late. Temperature about 29 Sunday afternoon. Then Monday we fall to 16, sleet and snow likely. Some accumulation is possible. I'm not comfortable going with amounts yet because we, we know it's going to be less where it sleets and we have to figure out where it sleets and where it snows. But 21 for the high and then behind the snow, wicked wind, wicked cold will likely set a record low temperature Tuesday morning. Factor in the wind and it could feel as cold as one below in Tyler. And that's a conservative estimate. I've seen some figures that try to make it feel like it's 11 below. So we'll wait and see exactly how that plays out. We get rid of that system Tuesday. Look what heads our way Wednesday. Another storm system with snow and sleet in the forecast. Wow, what a busy next seven days. All right, Baylor Scott and White, Texas Spine and Joint Hospital, seven day forecast. So overnight tonight and tomorrow, patchy freezing drizzle possible. The temperature in the morning, 29. Tomorrow afternoon, about 33. Saturday, there's another little chance for a patch of freezing drizzle or a sleet pellet, otherwise cloudy and cold. 29 in the morning, 35 by the afternoon. And then Sunday, there's that period of sleet and snow in the morning. We'll warm up to 29. And then snow and sleet likely Monday. I'll try to maybe come up with some snowfall totals for you at 10 o'clock. Again, it's best to wait 72 hours out. That's a rule of mine, and I just think that's the safest way to go. Any other numbers are kind of premature at this time. We'll drop to 7 Tuesday morning, record low 11. That was set back in, what, 1900? So this is an old record that we could shatter Tuesday morning. Then a winter mix, snow, sleet Wednesday, 30% chance, and maybe some more snow flurries Thursday. We should get above the freezing mark by Wednesday and Thursday maybe start to melt some of the snow and the ice. All right, again, we'll update that forecast coming up tonight at 10. Don't forget to download our CBS 19 app and stay ahead of these storms.